Hello YouTube, I was waiting for you. What do we need? Well, everything we need. Flashlight. Okay. Some headlamps. Oh, what? And a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> you never know. Okay, if you don't know Gary, that's Gary. Nice to meet you. Played with him on the Unicorns last year. He played for the Unicorns for a long time, like 12 years. Uh, but he just got back from a long trip in Southeast Asia, right Gary? All over Asia. All over Asia. So he's back now, and he's lived in Schwabisch Hall his whole life, and he's shown me a cool spot that I have not been to. Yo. Nice socks and sandals. What are you, German? Just here to troll all the internet police. <laughs> Alright. We're going through the woods now. I'm 94% sure that Gary is going to kill me and bury my body out here. Oh! This log just collapsed. No, we like the challenge. Basically, Mountain climbing right now. Did not know what I was getting myself into. Thank you, Gary. Uh, uh, come on, Alf. Alf vs. Wild. New TV show. One thing when you're stranded <laughs> and you need to find some high protein. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Did we can find it right here. Maybe there's some snails, something we can eat. Maybe. What is this, like castle ruins? crazy about Germany is you can have stuff like this. Old castle ruins, this is probably hundreds of years old. We don't have stuff like this in the States because the States isn't that old itself. We just uh, started in 1776. We don't really have castle ruins. This place was built 1432 or something like Dang. that. Dang. No, actually earlier, 12 something and then like got bigger and bigger over the years, like 15th century, 16th century. Damn. So that's older than the U.S. <laughs> Count? A lord. Okay. Lord Muck? That's like British English though. Lord Snow. It's a lord. Let's just call him so a lord. So this is for a lord? Graf? Yeah. A lord used to build that as a regular house. Like, uh, Germany used to be like really split up in like thousands of little, 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 little regions. Yeah. So Schwäbisch Hall used to be one. Yeah. Like you see in the, the wall around it. Yep. And uh, Comburg used to be one too, Damn. and uh, yeah, then a really rich lord built a house here, and uh, the whole thing like got really too expensive yeah. in like the 16th century. Yeah, and uh, somebody from Schwäbisch Hall bought it after. Damn. Uh, but only like so nobody can be here because this is like a badass spot to like yeah. tech hall or everything. Yeah. German history lessons with Gerhard Jaeger.
trying to decide if we should make this jump. It's pretty scary. It's farther than it looks. Should we do it? All right, let's do it. Jump interview. How do you feel, Gerhard? Pretty good. Yeah? Well, you alright? Didn't want to lose my glasses, and I was wearing no shoes, so. <laughs> Pretty solid. Okay, that distance might not look that daunting on camera there, but it was actually kind of far. And we had to convince ourselves to do it, but I'm glad we did it because adventure. <laughs> exclusively at nowhere you can't get them it's one of a kind my mom got me it for Christmas so don't ask Gary was also telling me that all over Asia you would see the swastika symbol which is like really startling to us like in the Western world because it's such a taboo symbol now but you see it all the time there yeah well here in Germany that's like yeah you won't find it anywhere besides some Nazi like painting on walls yeah there you can find it everywhere, like all the temples, and uh, like everywhere. Yeah. Sometimes it's the other way, sometimes it's like the, the right way. Yeah. Uh, in Asia or like every religion you can find a swastika, it means fortune and luck. So it has nothing to do with Hitler, the Nazis or whatever. Did that, did that feel weird when you'd see that, especially for the first time? You're like, oh my gosh. All the time, yeah. there's like a big ass temple. Yeah. And uh, there's a big ass swastika yeah. right in front of it. <laughs> that's so weird. All right. So that's what you get when you travel, different experiences, cool stuff like that. You learn different things. It's good to have you back, Gerhard. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm sure you'll be seeing him more on these vlogs. I think that's it for today. A good castle adventure. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. We'll see you next time.